Normalization versus Loudness Normalization As of Audacity 2.4.2, there's a new option in the Effects menu. We're taking a look at normalization in this edition of Stuart's Audacity Tips. Nearly everyone will thank you for this edition of Stuart's Audacity Tips. Share it with a VO friend and maybe make a VO BFF. We use normalization a lot in the VO world. Clients ask for finished audio to be normalized to a specific setting. Until relatively recently, this setting has been expressed in DB, especially in the American market. In Audacity, we use the normalization effect to take care of this requirement. But now, there's another normalization effect on the effects menu. Loudness normalization. What gives? Should we stop using the normalization effect? Short answer, no. The normalization effect works the way it always has, and you can depend on it to continue to do so. But you might run into a requirement that you don't know how to handle, especially if you're in the European market. And this is where loudness normalization comes in. Human perception of volume is a tricky thing. Many factors go into how loud we perceive a sound to be. Traditionally, to make a set of things have similar volume, we've depended on one of two methods, peak normalization and RMS normalization. But these methods led to something called the volume wars, in which broadcasters sought ways to make their audio stand out using compression and other processing without violating standards set for peak or RMS normalization. You've experienced it. Commercials on TV seem much louder than the regular program. The European Broadcast Union wanted a better way, so they came up with loudness units against full scale, or LUFs, which is a calculation that includes RMS and a number of other factors. When two pieces of audio have been processed to the same LUFs number, we tend to perceive them as the same loudness, regardless of content. Like the dB scale for amplitude, LUFs is measured in units less than zero. Zero is the maximum loudness the system can produce. The new loudness normalization effect can normalize to LUFs. The broadcast standard in Europe is minus 23 LUFs units, but you may be asked to use a different standard depending on your client's needs. Just set the normalized drop list to perceived loudness and the number to the desired LUFs result, and you'll be fine. Note, this tool can also normalize to RMS in dB measurements. The unit of measure changes if you change the normalized drop list selection. Oh, and remember to select the entire track you want to normalize before normalizing. So, normalization and loudness normalization are both tools that seek to solve the same problem. They just use different standards. And yes, the regular normalization tool also affects loudness. The Audacity team just had to come up with a different name so you'd know which was which on the menu. Hope this helps. I'm Stuart.